itself. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And let me say good evening to you and to all of the viewers, particularly the fans who are watching from the 28 countries that are participating in Thurifter. Now, Mr. Prime Minister, let me start by asking you, I know that you are someone who is very adamant on building the youth, building sports in Grenada. Uh, just how happy are you to see these games here in, in the country? You being a young man yourself. Uh, well, I'm extremely happy and I want to thank um, you know, everyone who's made this possible. Uh, the former Minister of Youth and Sport, who is himself a youth, the current Minister of Youth and Sport, the yeah. local organizing team, uh, the Carifta team for giving Grenada the opportunity to host this, particularly after the Bahamas, because uh, the Bahamas celebrated 50 years last year. Uh, I was in the Bahamas uh, for that celebration. Grenada celebrated 50 years this year. And so I'm happy that the Bahamas was able to pass the baton on to Grenada. Yeah, and I'm happy you brought up that point about Grenada celebrating 50 years, you being at the helm. How important did you see these games fitting into the calendar of celebration? Um, well, I think it's no coincidence that we bid for the games. I think we felt, given that we were celebrating our 50th anniversary, that it was important to have uh, the regional community join us. And what better way to do this than through sport, particularly sport that targets youth and sport that the Caribbean has excelled in, not just regionally, but internationally as well. So I'm extremely happy that we are able to do so. Yeah, and you know, Grenada is a, a, a country of sports. And you, where do you see yourself fitting in uh, to ensure that you offer them support as they go along the way? Well, I think, you know, if you take track and field, for example, it is hands down the most popular sporting activity in Grenada. You only have to come to an intercollegiate uh, high school games to understand the passion yes. uh, that people have for, for sports. So it's a, a natural uh, event that I think has gotten to the point where everyone, even after they leave school, uh, is into it. So I think what is important for us really now is for us to take this from the amateur level yeah. uh, to make sure that we can give the necessary support at a professional level. So the facilities, and this is an example of it, but not just here, but throughout our parishes to make sure that we can improve the facilities for track and field uh, for our athletes, to make sure that we can help with things like nutrition, coaching, uh, getting scouts to help them uh, be exposed, ensuring that we help them with education, uh, with getting scholarships to go overseas. Uh, so we have to take a really all-encompassing approach to ensure uh, that we pay more than lip service uh, to track and field. And I'm just specifying track and field because this is Carifta. Yeah. But I think sport in, in, in general, I think the, many of our islands have taken a very amateurish approach to sport. Um, and I think we have to really recognize that sport is a billion dollar business. Yes. Uh, we have a lot of talent in the Caribbean. So it's for us to treat this just as how we treat other businesses by ensuring we support it both with fiscal incentives, uh, financial incentives, and making sure that we have the right regulatory uh, and legal systems in place to support our athletes. Prime Minister, after that, there's no much more to ask you. But other than, how have you been enjoying the games? Uh, it's been spectacular. I wasn't here yesterday, but I came on Saturday. I'm here today. Um, obviously, Jamaica is the powerhouse in track and field, and they continue to lead. But I think you can see that a lot of the uh, other islands are doing well. Obviously, Grenada is doing well. We're in a double digit yeah. medal. So I want to say congratulations to all of the athletes. Of course, special congratulations to our Grenada athletes. And I'll steal this opportunity to uh, big up our swim athletes in the Bahamas. Yes. Uh, you know, they are doing well. Uh, we had a tragic death of one of our swimmers, but she still swam and yeah. she got a bronze medal. So I think if there's anything that tells you about the strength, the determination and resilience of yes. our youth, uh, it's Sarah Dalton. So I just want to take the opportunity to express Thank condolences you. to her yeah. and the family and wish you all the best. I, I don't want to cut you right there, but we do have to head back to the chat. Thank you so much.